Well, it looks like the chances of the Galaxy Note 7 being released or announced on August 2nd is becoming more and more likely. The real question is, will there be an edged and regular variant or just an edge variant? Let's talk about that. Well, this image here looks like it could be an invite to be sent to the press or possibly for a promotional poster that could be seen by the public. Either way, there are several key points we can glean from it. Now first is the most obvious and that's the confirmation of the previous rumor that it would launch or be announced on August 2nd this summer. Secondly, the design language is clearly stylized in such a way that the number 7 is featured, which gives further credibility to the rumors that Samsung will indeed skip 6 in order to have caught up in consistency to the Galaxy S7 handset. And third, the design language clearly shows off curved edges, which line up with the recently leaked content suggesting that the Note 7 will have a curved display. This in of itself, of course, has caused much outrage among some fans who are teeming with anger at Samsung for releasing only an edge display model. But will it be so? And fourth, the information also specifies the launch will happen in New York City and will be streamed via YouTube, not unlike HTC did with its recently released 10. Now the real question of course is about those curves. It seems obvious Samsung will indeed launch a Galaxy Note 7 Edge, but will it be the only option? Will it be standard? While this is mere speculation, the likelihood is quite low, given that 1. Samsung continues to release traditional Galaxy S handsets, 2. The edge display costs more and therefore will raise the price, and 3. Many people simply don't like curved edges. Samsung has managed to repair some of last year's damage by including microSD support with the S7, so it would seemingly be foolish for it to anger note buyers once again by forcing upon all of them a different display dynamic. What do you guys think? Now let's talk the LG X, and it's rumored to have a massive 4100 milliamp hour battery. Official details are sketchy for the moment, but from the high level look that LG gave us, the X Power looks like the most interesting device in the batch. As the name suggests, the X Power's big selling point is the 4100 milliamp hour battery. That's quite large for a device that's just 5.3 inches. For comparison, the devices like the S7 Active and Mate 8 feature similar batteries in much larger bodies. From an older leak, we know that the LG X Power will feature a 720p screen, a MediaTek MT6735 processor equipped with Pump Express Plus fast charging, 2GB of RAM, 16GB of onboard storage, and 13 and 8 megapixel cameras. Now even if the new X line turns out to be completely forgettable, it's good to see large batteries making their way down range. If LG can put a 4100 milliamp hour unit in a relatively thin mid-ranger like the X Power, we have reason to hope that the company's next flagships will be just as good if not better. Now last up is Facebook Messenger and how you can now send text messages from Android smartphones. Remember when you used to be able to send SMS text messages with the Facebook Messenger app? Well then it mysteriously vanished and never heard from again. Well it looks like Facebook is hell-bent on continuing to play games with our hearts because the social giant has returned SMS support for Messenger on Android devices. But alas, Will it remain? Probably is the answer to that question. David Marcus, the VP of messaging products at Facebook says that this SMS integration is pretty robust, allowing you to send voice clips, stickers, and your locations in just a few brushes of your fingertip. This all plays into Facebook's clear intentions to make this app your one-stop shop for all your textual communication. Today, nearly anything is possible. If you can dream it, your team can build it. Makers of collaboration software that helps your team work better together. Create and share content, organize results with the flexibility of Confluence. They even have instant messaging and video chat with HipChat. You can also manage code in real time with the power of Bitbucket. Visit Atlassian.com and see how Jira, Confluence, HipChat, and Bitbucket can give your team everything they need to succeed. Thank you.